Rules are everywhere in businesses. Whether it's a policy, constraint, or calculation, it determines the logic for your business process. In decisions, there's a number of different ways that business rules can be used, all without having to write any code. One way a rule can be used is to determine the path the workflow process flows, or a rule can be used as a discrete API call that evaluates the data and returns results. Another way could be rules validating user input on forms or even hiding user actions that aren't relevant. Statement rules are one of the many styles of rules and decisions. Statement rules are simple to build, understand, and change by both the business and technical users within an organization. They can result in a logical true or false decision, can trigger an action, or can return data, and are written in the form of an if statement, followed sometimes by a then statement. In this example, a logical statement rule is first created for a car loan request process. We start by defining the inputs or data that will be evaluated, and then go through and choose the rules, data elements, verb structures, and configure where the values come from. You will notice that the rule editor is data aware, meaning the verbs that appear are associated with the data type. Additional conditions can also be added, or an either or group can be chosen. So if another condition is added, this makes it so that both of these statements must be true for the rule to return true. Either or groups say either this statement or that statement must be true, along with whatever conditional statements are already written before or after the either or group. So if we add two conditions to the either group that says it returns true if the age is greater than 25 and they never had any previous accidents, then we will add two more conditions to the or group to say it will return true if the person's salary is greater than $50,000 and they have never had any previous accidents. Conditions and either or groups can be added to statement rules as many times as necessary to make a rule as simple or complex as you want. Now that a logical statement rule has been created, this if statement can trigger an action by executing a flow depending on the outcome of the rule. So when the if statement returns to true, the rule will kick off the workflow that was previously created to demonstrate how this really works, we can take a detour to our debugger to test out some data. Based on the data entered, the rule would return true and kick off the loan request approve flow, which brings up this form. This is because the first conditional statement returned true, and at least one of the either or statements returned true as well. Statement rules can also return multiple or single data values, depending on if the rule returns true or false. For example, here the rule returns the data saying that the applicant is auto-approved if the rule returns true. Overall, decision statement rules are simple to build but can handle complex processes.